insect soup. Super yuck. All right. The bung beetle. There's no reason for description, so it has to be discreet. No need for explanation. Just say it likes to eat. The tick. It's true the tick can make you sick. When you brush it's th thick, really quick. Super yuck. Praying mantis. When sitting down to dine, they say many feel need to pray. But when you have upon your plate a meal consisting of young mate, do you not think it's truly coarse? It gives thanks to higher force. Sandalback caterpillar. I wonder if he thinks it's odd to have a face on both sides of his bod. Oriental cockroach. It's different with its cousins. How so? Oh, now I see it loves to eat chopsticks and has yen for tea. Okay. Housefly. Here's a spot where the fly touched down. She paused too long, that's clear. She went to this water. Sap. It got her. Now all that's left is a smear. Unicorn beetle. The unicorn beetles played in the park. While Noah was busy loading his ark. Just like the unicorn, they missed the boat. But then the beetles were lucky. These beetles could float. Ants. Ants in my kitchen by the door. Ants are crawling across my floor. Along the wall, or marching style. Recommended single file. I want them gone, but I'm unable to stop the sacking of my table. At night, I spray and keep the traps, but they return for kitchen scraps. Some are clearly on patrol, scaling up the dog food bowl. They climb all around my sink, sitting downward for a drink. I see their small anti-rattle, and they dug in a long, hard battle. They even come for the queen and throw and they claim the kitchen at their own. The flea. Hitting in the woodland, kneel brush on her dog. They find a flea who quietly hop upon my dog. F the fleas are very tiny. They wake him up every night. It's not the size that matters. It's the fact that they can bite. Lice. Take my advice, avoid all ice. They simply are not very nice. The roach, behold the roach, how it survives. Living a life upon the edge. It hides the crackles and crevices beneath the kitchen counter ledge. It finds a way to live each day. Mid poisons, traps, and cheap motels. That quick takes flight at signs of light and it keeps on guard for human smells. Cicada. In all their eyes, under the ground, deep in the soul, they make no sound. No wonder when they come above, they cry out loud for search for love. Through predators may hear their song, they need to sing along the strong. To some, it's noise, they won't bait, but it's sweet music to a mate. Butterfly. Caterpillar wanted badly to become a butterfly. And she hated crawling on the ground and wished to come flutter by. She got her wish to come for a course and she did regret it. She turned into a butterfly then flew into a net. Millipede. I used to have millipede. I kept him for a pet. I fed him every day at night and took him to the vet. I knit him a sweater and made him 500 pair of tiny silken slippers for my millipede to wear. And though I treated him very so well, he snuck out on the street, then muddled up in the carpets, then he wiped his feet. Chiggers. Lie in the ditch, he may itch. For all the sight lives the mite. Chiggers repose beneath their clothes, then you have to welt underneath your belt. And while you sleep, you'll borrow deep. At your seat, you'll start to eat. Poor or rich, you still itch.